Hi, I'm Dominic Balancio, Product Manager with Liver Components, and today we had a short video on proper use and or misuse of your power stabilizers. So we're at the front of our coach. First step is to disconnect from the coach. Once you've accomplished that, run your tongue jack down if you've got a travel trailer, or your landing gear on your fifth wheel, and the first step is going to try to level most of the coach using one of these two options. The reason is, is because your coach is actually balanced from your axles to the first point of contact, which on a travel trailer, it's your tongue jack. On a fifth wheel, it's your landing gear. Okay, so we're at the back of the coach. First step is locate the button that the manufacturers install. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and hit extend and run these down until we see ground contact. Now, once you see ground contact, all you're gonna wanna do is run these for one 1,000, two 1,000, and then you're good. There's a six amp mini breaker that will actually kick in there if you overload these or get to maximum load. So maximum load with stabilization is gonna be anywhere from 15 to 1700 pounds. Now don't worry, this isn't like your house where you're gonna have to run around and locate fuses and actually reset the breaker. That will actually reset on its own after about 10 seconds. The reason this is important though is because you've already maxed out your stabilizers. So we don't want you then to run these continuously and kick it and kick it and kick it. That's how misuse can happen and ultimately you're gonna break your system. So, now we're at the front of our coach. So quick recap on what we did. First, we disconnected from the tow vehicle. You primarily level your unit with your tongue jack or your landing gear. In this case, we use our tongue jack. Now, it's at that point in the process where you're gonna wanna find your favorite leveling blocks or stops so that your coach can get level. We're inside, so it's a little bit easier. But another good thing to notice is that even with the leveling blocks or stops, you're actually not picking the coach up off the ground. So as I stated before, your coach is balanced by your axles and either your tongue jack or your landing gear. So even with our leveling systems, we're not actually picking the coach up off the ground. You want the way that the frame's been designed to carry most of that weight. So once you're level, check it with a level, move on to the back, deploy your rear stabilizers, and now we're at the front. So if you've got your front stabilizers, now you're gonna run them in similar fashion. So congratulations, your coach is now stabilized. So what did we learn in this process? Well, properly unhook, drive it with your tongue jack, use blocks if you need to. Once your coach is pretty level, go on to the rear, touch the ground, one to two seconds. If you've got your fronts, touch the ground, one to two seconds, and you're stabilized. You're ready to enjoy a week, weekend, a month of camping. Now, some misuse happens when it's time to go. No one would ever forget to retract these, right? So what you want to do is first retract your front, then retract your rear, then your tongue jack. If you would happen to forget one of these, remember we're only stabilizing. So we're not lifting the coach. These are not meant to carry the entire load of the coach. So if you accidentally start to run your tongue jack before you release or retract any of these, you're going to break them. So after seeing some common misuse in our previous shot, we know that these jacks will break under excessive load. You know, as I've stated before, we're only stabilizing here. So you're look, talking about 15 to 1700 pounds. Typically at failure, you're gonna see double that. Well, how do we get to double? Well, right behind me is an Instron machine. So what this machine does is we run the jacks up, place a crossbar across them, and then it'll actually crush to whatever load that we're setting this at. So as these come back, as warranty claims come in, we know from our own internal testing exactly where these failure points are and probably what happened in the field. 